Hi, welcome to Netview CCTV. My name is Jitan. I'm just going to quickly show you what's included in the box on a uh, Hike Vision DS7208 HUHI F2 forward slash N. That's the new model, the new Turbo 3 version, uh, up to 5 megapixel um, uh, Turbo TVI recording capability. It's a 7208HUHI dash f2 dash n um there we go you can see it's a huhi dash f2 dash n i've uh, obscured the serial number for obvious reasons um, so that's the box it comes in so let's have a look at what's included so just open i'm also going to be uh Fitting two uh, six terabyte hard drives in there, consisting of three uh, two times three terabyte hard drives. There you go. Let's pull that out of the box and the paper that goes with it. There we go. Let's put the box aside a second. Right. Fly here about the new secure activation. We've got uh, user manual, quick start guide, and the CD. Uh, that you normally get in all the DVRs and the accessory box which uh, includes your power cable uh, to connect to two hard drives this is a two hard drive version it's the F2 so it's a two hard drive version uh, to the NVI itself we do get a mouse uh, with all the DVRs uh, two SATA cables to connect our hard drives inside one remote controller uh, bag of screws to connect your hard drives uh, to the DVI itself, which I'm going to leave out. A UK power cord and a power adapter. Uh, and that's uh, what's inside. Uh, so I'm just going to remove these uh, temporarily at the moment because I'm going to install a couple of hard drives in there. Pop that inside the accessory box and close it up. So that's what's included inside the accessory box. The DVI itself, let me just uh, remove the packaging, well packaged, and foam inserts on either side, protect it from uh, damage in transit. It comes in a polythene bag. And remove that, we have the DVI itself. So as you see, the DVR uh, has, uh, this is an eight channel DS7208, also comes in a 7204, 7208, and a 7216HUHI-SH, uh, uh, which is the five megapixel Turbo 3 version, available on our website, uh, netviewcctv.co.uk. So what's so good uh, about the HUHI? Well, uh, first we can immediately see uh, it has the four audio inputs, so you've got four audio inputs and none of the other lower models as HGHI or the HQHI have uh, four audio inputs on there. We've got to the eight uh, TVI uh, BNC connectors. Uh, this also takes uh, um, Turbo HD cameras and also analog HD uh, and normal uh, analog cameras as well. So it takes all types of uh, BNC connectors, cameras into there we've also got a video output uh, that's a cv also known as cvbs so you've got a video output uh there we've got a usb3 connector there usb3 let's put that a bit closer so you can see everything there you go uh, a vga port both of them can be used concurrently or separately uh, uh but they both output the same signal uh, Yep, so we've got uh, four audio inputs, as I mentioned, one audio out to connect uh, to uh, a micro uh, a speaker uh, or your TV or, or, or anything of that device. Uh, you've got your LAN port to connect your internet, your router, uh, or your network for, for accessing the DVR off your network uh, or on the internet. An RS-485 uh, connector for PTZ control, although I've got to mention that... Uh, the, the, the Turbo HD TVI uh, PTZ cameras do not need a separate RS-485 connector. 
um, they are controlled, uh, the telemetry is controlled uh, up the coax, uh, so that will work any uh, Turbo HD TVI uh, camera, a PTZ camera connected to any of the BNC inputs, that's all you need to actually control the PTZ controls as well. We don't need to use the, the uh, RS485. You've got your power connector there, uh, your power rocker switch on off, and your alarm inputs and outputs uh, there, terminal block as well. So that's the back of the, the DVI itself. On the front, uh, it's slightly different from the, from the lower end models. Uh, you've got lots of buttons there on the front, uh, your menu button, uh, your fast forward, rewinds, etc., record, PTZ control, uh, and the uh, uh, a dial shift uh, button there. So that's the front. You've got an extra USB uh, connector on the front as well. So you can actually put your mouse into there uh, or a USB stick for recording purposes and leave the mouse uh, connected to the back of the DVR. So that's the DVR itself. Uh, underneath uh, on the 8 channel, we've got the two. Uh, uh, drive bays uh, we see there. Um, both take up to six terabytes of hard drive, so maximum of 12 terabytes hard drive inside this unit. Um, and uh, and that's the actual case itself. A vented fans the either side, vented case. We've got a little fan there, you can see a little fan, so that's a case fan uh, built into the case itself. And that's the DS7208 HUHI uh, dash. I forgot the model. The HUHI uh, dash F2 dash N. F2 stands for two hard drives that can be connected uh, to the DVR. Yeah. Uh, I am going to connect uh, two three terabyte hard drives. Uh, giving a, a total capacity of six terabyte, you can actually go up to um, six uh, six terabytes total capacity. Uh, so for each bay capacity, giving you a total of uh, twelve terabytes. Uh, but sometimes we find it more economical to purchase two three terabytes than a six terabyte drive. So let me just take off the case screws. And I'll show you how easy it is just go on one screw here just a second. Once the screws are done, the case slides off just like that, and inside we see what we have. Um, so we have there, we have the two uh, SATA connectors for the hard drive. So one hard drive will sit there, one on this side, and both of them will connect. The data will connect up to the SATA ports just there. Uh, the power connector will connect into there. So that's your two two SATA ports. For your hard drives and your uh, power connector, everything else on the on the motherboard just uh, don't touch it and leave it alone. There's no need to access any of it, uh, but that's uh, what's inside. Uh, there we go. Change the direction so you can see more clearly. There you go. And that's your cable uh, for the front uh, uh, panel uh, connectors. Right, we take our two drives, two terabyte, three terabyte Western Digital Purples. I'm going to, what I normally tend to do is connect my connectors up first. So I'll connect my SATA, SATA cable up. But this is the data, remember, that's the data connector on both of the drives. There we go. 
I'm just going to connect one of these at the moment because they're both uh, joined up. This is the power connector. Just there. And the drive. Let's put the screws out. Sometimes the screws are actually short and uh, won't slide in over the raised, uh, raised holes there. So you have to actually hold the drive in place while it's putting the screws in from the back which i find actually easier uh, to do so i'm just going to place that on there and i know roughly where the holes will line up because that's the holes on the side so i know that's roughly there place the drive where i want to fix it there you go see my holes line uh, line up there i'm just going to put uh, couple of screws in there. The one screw will actually hold the drive now. There you go. So that's my drive connected push it back so that's just at a, a connector that connects to uh, the board there which is actually uh, the way these are it's uh, slightly angled differently there we go so that's one uh, and the power connector where the white cup power connector block connects into uh, the white, the four pin block on. There we go. Can okay, you see what we've done? So the data connector to the SATA port, the power connector to the power port, and the power is also connecting to the second drive. Fit there. So let's just uh, do that. I'm just going to connect. Uh, My second drive to the unknowns bit fiddly but that's where it comes there you go I find my holes more or less uh, in the right position One, two, three, four, there you go. That's the hard drives uh, fixed to the case. You will also notice there's two extra holes on either side uh, of the set of the hard drive. These holes you can actually use if you use six terabyte hard drives. The fours and below will, will only utilize four of the holes. So uh, you only need to connect four of them. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give the screws a bit of a tighten up just to make sure they're secure. There we go. Put a little quarter turn. Just make sure it doesn't move. go second SATA port I'm just going to connect to the second uh, SATA connector on the motherboard and the power connector which you're going to slide in on the, the uh, hard drive itself there we go both securely connected now you see what we've done so SATA one from first hard drive going into the first port, SATA connect, the red connector, SATA connector from second hard drive into the second SATA port on the motherboard, both the power, power connectors connecting to the white block uh, just on the board just there. And that's it really, that's all we need to do. 
if you want to tidy things up and keep tidy uh, inside, I do tend to just uh, uh, connect these together just to keep it tidy. And it also helps, as I mentioned before in one of my videos, is just uh, helps with the airflow uh, through the case a little bit. Stick one there, just gonna stick one more. Um, and it keeps them secure as well. So there you go. There we go. So that's nice and tidy. Um, I get a pair of scissors and cut these extra tails off. Obviously, you've got to be very careful you don't cut any of the cables, otherwise, they're not going to connect. And there we go, we have two hard drives fitted in our 8 channel DVR um, and all ready to go. Put the case on, connect it up, and Remember, you have to initialize uh, the hard drives on first boot. We'll go through the menu and uh, uh, guide you through that. So they must be initialized for them to start recording too. And there you have it. That's our 7208HUHI-F2 forward slash N uh, DVR from Height Vision. Uh, one of the latest ones, uh, Turbo 3, can handle up to 5 megapixel. Uh, Turbo HD cameras. Um, and uh, hope, you, hope you find that useful. And uh, don't forget to watch uh, some of my other videos. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, drop me a line um, uh, or just uh, email me um, at netviewcctv.co.uk. Don't forget, all these are available on our website, netviewcctv.co.uk. Uh, and DVRs. Thanks for watching. Bye.